Hi, and welcome to XR for Work. This is the show where we explore the immersive, virtual, mixed and augmented platforms designed for business and professional use. My name is Rick, and I'm your host here at XR for Work. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the recent HTC announcements. Um, last week, they launched two new headsets, the Vive Pro 2, geared towards prosumers, enthusiasts, and gamers. And the second, the Vive Focus 3, a wireless headset targeted squarely at business. There's been a lot of attention and information on those headsets. And you can do a quick search on the internet or here on YouTube and find lots of information and content about the specifications of those devices. But today we're going to look at and break down the segment HTC provided regarding the Vive business platform, the software and infrastructure that backs up their business aspirations. We're going to watch the presentation that I recorded while I was in the Engage um, platform, listen to the segment and break down and take a look at what HTC is offering to back up its business pursuits. And so with that, let's get started. Enterprise and professional users in particular need a reliable solution something that can be tailored to their unique needs, regardless of their expertise with VR or the lack thereof. Something that is compliant, scalable, and secure. They want a solution that allows them to adopt VR seamlessly, building a network that is simple to manage, whether they have three headsets or 3,000. Whether users are physically together or oceans apart. And that's what Vibe Business offers. It's simply the simplest True. way to the bring the power saying, of VR to an organization. Let's take a closer look at how we do that. First up, content and applications. Whether you're a multinational company or a small startup, you can now transform the way you work thanks to VR applications for meetings, training, design, and so much more. Or you may want to build a bespoke program for your own purpose. Vibe Business will be a one-stop shop for all your professional VR needs. We know from experience that simplicity is key to breaking down adoption barriers. Last year, we launched Vibe XR Suite a bundle of XR applications for business networking, creativity, and productivity. An all-in-one elegant solution with secure login, profile, and cloud storage, which you can access from any of your devices, VR, PC, laptops, tablets, or smartphones. A central element of XR... Okay, let's take a look at just the first couple of minutes. And we can see that they're going to be offering a, a content platform, a marketplace, right? Where uh, ISVs or, uh, vendors can offer their uh, products, their off the shelf, if you will, products to be sold through the platform or where businesses or corporations might be able to have a tool set that they can create their own. This wasn't very clear um, this regarding the bespoke custom, whether um, it was just a place that you could upload your own content to be distributed across headsets, or if they were gonna offer a tool set to create them, yet to be seen. And then we've heard about the Vive XR suite before, this suite of uh, five applications, Vive Sync, Sessions, Campus, Social, and Museum. Um, only one of the five being an HTC developed uh, uh, title, which is the Vive Sync, and we're going to hear more about that in the next little section. But uh, Sessions is just uh, uh, a stamped uh, Engage instance. Campus uh, is Verbella. Social is VR Chat, and Vive Museum is the museum 
of other realities, all of which uh, HTC has invested in uh, and, and now can create and sell their own licensing uh, to a uh, HTC stamped platform. So uh, very interesting to see what happens with this suite. I haven't heard of any uh, interest or uptake in the West in something like this yet. Um, I know that uh, they have not completed uh, the seamless integration between platforms, uh, meaning if you were going to go into a sync session and then wanted to go into Five Campus and then wanted to go into a social session, that you're going in and out, in and out, in and out of each one of these. Something that I'm sure that they're going to eventually conquer, but as of this moment, um, it's a rather uh, individualistic offering for each of these that are in and of themselves, uh, even Vive Sync is available through a, a Viveport subscription, I know, because that's how I use it. Um, so each of these in individually available at a free offering level, um, right now. So I'm wondering if they're going to be able to build something compelling to make this suite uh, a, a uh, offering that businesses will want to consider. But again, we've got the uh, the platform now, that the, the marketplace that they're going to offer, and then certainly through the marketplace, their own XR suite. Let's take a listen to the next couple of minutes. A central element of XR Suite for me has been Vive Sync Beta, which I've sure used a whole lot in the last year. It's helped me feel more connected with my colleagues globally through a sense of shared experience. In fact, my team even threw me a birthday party last summer where they jumped out of a giant virtual gig in our usual meeting room above the clouds. It sure was memorable. And we're not the only ones who love Vive Sync. There have been countless meetings held in Vive Sync Beta from 72 countries around the world since May 2020. We've had fantastic feedback with so many users telling us about how much they love using Vive Sync. Even for doing something as simple as watching PowerPoint presentations or videos together on the giant screen or viewing a 3D model up close. When immersed in Vive Sync without distractions, people are just that much more engaged with one another, and as a result, much more productive and creative. Let me tell you, as a mom of three who has spent a whole year working from my home office, you cannot put a price on distraction-free. To offer this premier business collaboration magic to everyone, we're now ready to bring Vive Sync out of beta. Vive Sync Pro is included in Vive XR Suite and an entry-level product for small teams. And Vive Sync Enterprise provides access to the full-featured premium offering. We cannot wait to show you all the new features we've been building, new environments, and new ways to collaborate even with non-VR users who are using 2D video conferencing software. We are excited to announce today that Vive Focus 3 will come with six months of free access to Vive Sync Enterprise. We know that you will find it an incredibly powerful tool like we do, one that brings more togetherness in this new normal of remote work. Vive XR Suite and Vive Sync are fantastic, but what about finding other applications out there that can help take your business to the next level. Just as we created Vive Ports for consumers, we've now built a dedicated enterprise VR content platform. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Vive Business App Store. With ultimate flexibility, Vive Business App Store can be accessed through web, mobile, and VR headsets. It allows businesses to commercially license a wide variety of solutions at the click of a button, quick and simple. From day one, we'll offer a curated selection of business applications for improving productivity and workflows. There will also be general purpose training content that anyone can benefit from, 
such as fostering leadership skills and empathy, as well as vertical specific solutions like design and collaboration tools or medical and safety training. And for those moments where you want to de-stress at the end of the day, we're adding a handful of free applications for you to enjoy fitness, relaxation, music, and more. Perfect for unwinding after work. There is already some amazing business VR content out there, and there's so much more to come. To support the fast-growing enterprise VR content ecosystem, we have been working on a developer partnership program, the Vibe Independent Software Vendor Program. Through this program, we will provide additional resources and structured support to help our partners build better solutions and win more business. It is also thanks to the Vive ISV program that we can offer businesses easy access to trusted developer partners for their bespoke VR needs. The ISV program has been a priority for us in the development of Vive business. And today, we're happy to announce the beta launch of this program with more than 50 partners across the globe already signed up. I know that a lot of you in the audience will be excited about this opportunity. So please visit our website to learn more about how you can apply to be a partner and how you can get the most out of this program for your business. Tomorrow at ViveCon, we will be joined by partners presenting from different verticals such as training, healthcare, and more. So please join us. Okay, so in this section, we hear more about Vive Sync. Um, they're obviously pushing their own uh, offering and including it uh, for six months free when you buy a Vive Focus 3. So after that, of course, right, you're, you're having to buy into the, the software, the platform to do your, your meeting and collaboration through Vive Sync, and then probably an expanded offering if you include uh, sync with the larger Vive suite. And then there is this enterprise premium offering. Um, not quite sure what that includes. Um, and, and you won't find a whole lot of information when you go to the Vive business website about it. Um, so something above and beyond pro apparently, we're yet to see. And then the Vive business app store, they seem to have cut it down into six different verticals, remote collaboration, training, learning and education, therapy and rehab, marketing visualization, and design visualization. Uh, interesting, unique choices. I'm, I, I, you know, it seems to be a huge overlap in training and learning and education, and that within medical, there is just therapy and rehab. Uh, what about surgery? What about some of the other disciplines? I'm not, not quite sure why they have decided on these six. Maybe it was based on the partnerships that they've developed at this point um, that they've kind of gotten these silos. Uh, and maybe we'll see this grow and expand as time goes on. All right, let's go to the, our next and last section. And of course, she mentioned the beta launch with 50 partners, um, which is actually pretty slim when you think about, again, uh, the range of business offerings and uh, industries that, that we're trying to cover here. That gives you just a small insight into what Vive Business can offer in terms of content and applications, not just today, but also our commitment to growing the ecosystem in the long term. Of course, how you interact with a content platform depends on the scale of your business and your role in the organization. If you're an independent professional or a small to medium sized business, you need a ready to go efficient content solution. Vibe Business App Store is a great resource for you. On the other hand, if you're a multinational company, you don't need your employees to individually go into an app store and choose their content. You make purchasing decisions as an organization 
What you need then is a way to manage your content, your seats and licenses, your devices, and of course, your user's experience. So, for enterprise, we have a slightly different solution. Introducing the Vibe Business Device Management System. It's an entire enterprise VR network at your fingertips. You can manage licenses, send proprietary or purchase content to devices, assign programs by individual or by group. You can also do batch configuration for setting up new devices efficiently. You can manage software updates securely, and you can get analytics of how your devices and accessories are performing. I'm happy to say that by Focus 3, we'll also come with six months of free access to the full featured Vibe Business Device Management System. And if your organization already has an MDM solution compatible with Android Enterprise, perfect! It will support Vive Focus 3 too. In addition, we're rolling out Vive Business Training a solution perfect for controlling multiple VR devices and sessions simultaneously. This clever tool allows a training administrator to easily monitor with a tablet what each user is looking at. They can then directly interact in the environment by highlighting an item or moving a user through a section, which is ideal for group training activities. And that is Vive Business the total solution of software and services for an organization, big or small, to get into virtual reality in a scalable, compliant, and secure way. The total VR solution made for professional peace of mind. High quality VR solutions seamlessly deployed in a high performing network. It has never been easier. So let's get down to business. Okay, and so those were the last components, the Vive Business Device Management, an MDM, a mobile device management system for uh, the Vive devices. Um, also uh, making the Vive devices compatible with existing Android Enterprise MDM solutions. Um, they talked about some regulatory compliance standards that they're looking to meet, some um, analytics that they're looking to provide, and then this Vive business training, which I got to imagine is a piece of software that allows a uh, uh, external user um, with a tablet or a PC to view and control some of the experiences that uh, users within the headset are having. And so if we kind of boil this all down, right, the Vive business solution platform, you know, we, of course, we have the hardware that's that's being produced, right? The Vive Focus 3, the Vive Pro 2. Um, and then on top of that, we have the marketplace, the ISV channel that they're providing, the software platforms in terms of the Vive uh, Sync Enterprise, the Vive Sync Pro, and the Vive Suite that they're providing, and then services through their business device management and business training solutions. And so there you have it. That kind of boils down uh, the current uh, state of their offerings for business with this new hardware that Vive uh, and HTC are providing. So what do you think? I'm, uh, I would be eager and anxious to hear from, uh, from you in regards to what you think about what HTC, what Vive is offering uh, to businesses to go along with these new headsets. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, stop by and visit us uh, over on the XR for Work uh, Facebook group. Um, look for us out on Twitter. Um, you know, and certainly please give us a thumbs up here on YouTube and a follow. We greatly appreciate your time and your attention. Thanks very much for visiting. And we'll see you in the metaverse. Bye now.